There's five main reasons that 99% of people fail when trying to sell on Amazon. If you can avoid these five mistakes, you exponentially increase your success rate. Now you may think that some of these mistakes are pretty technical, like bad PPC campaign strategies, or even quote unquote the wrong product. Some of these mistakes are simpler than you think. Now like most videos, I've saved the most important for last, so make sure you stay tuned to the end. Let's get started. The first mistake is what I call analysis paralysis. This is the number one mistake that new Amazon sellers face that could actually be the most costly. Now, I don't care how much product research you've done or how many different Amazon courses you've taken, sending your first batch of products to Amazon is petrifying. Now, you may be thinking in your head, why is this one of the most costly mistakes? So let's take an example of you're looking to sell on Amazon and it's taking you three or four months before you send your first batch in. You finally decide on a product, you send it into Amazon and you start making sales. You start making a lot of sales. You start making between five and $10,000 a month. Now, if we look back and rewind a little bit, you had three or four months of not selling any products, which could potentially have been 30 to $40,000 in profit. Now to summarize this first mistake, you need to step outside your comfort zone and you can't be afraid of making mistakes. You need to think about becoming financially free from this process and really having a sense of fulfillment from running your own business. I can tell you firsthand that running your own business is extremely rewarding and especially when you're making money. Now the second mistake is not branding your product properly. I think this mistake catches sellers off guard the most just because they may have a great product or they may even have a great PPC campaign strategy, but their sales are non-existent. It's important to know that building a brand is essential to your success when selling on Amazon and connecting with your customer. Now in the past three or four years, Amazon had things a little bit different. You were able to just take supplier images upload them directly to Amazon, and start getting sales on in-demand products. Over time, Amazon has drastically changed. They've implemented new things onto the platform like a content and brand stories and Amazon Live that really connect the actual product and customer through a brand. Now, I'm gonna link a video in the cards for you guys to check out to the best ways to optimizing your listing through different branding techniques and guaranteed more sales. Next is the third mistake, and that's trying to save money by using FBM over FBA. And if you don't know, I'll quickly break it down for you. FBM stands for Fulfillment by Merchant, and FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. Now there's a major difference between the two when you're trying to scale and grow your business. FBM is really gonna restrict you because you're gonna have to take on the work yourself, or you're gonna have to pay someone, hire someone to do the work for you. Amazon is a multi-trillion dollar company that knows what they're doing. Don't try and reinvent the wheel or don't overload yourself by trying to do the work. Now, a second attribute by using FBA that is extremely valuable is that it lets your product be available through Amazon Prime. If you guys didn't know, there is 148 million people that pay for Amazon Prime. That is an outstanding number of people that want their product within two business days. So it's important to use these different advantages like FBA over FBM when you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to scale your business and make more money. Now, if you've been finding any of these mistakes valuable, please let me know, leave a comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps me know the content that I'm producing is valuable to you guys. The next most common mistake is within product research. Now you can make a lot of mistakes when doing your product research, so I wanted to focus on two of the most detrimental mistakes that I see most Amazon sellers making. The first one being they don't find a product that has data that backs, that has high demand and lower levels of competition. It's really important that you find a strategy when doing your product research and you find the data that backs that your product has those two variables in your favor. Now the other variable that comes into play when doing your product research is that Amazon sellers don't take into account potential profit margins. I see a lot of Amazon sellers that wanna sell a product maybe between 15 and $25, and it has that high demand. But when you go on and you see what the other Amazon sellers are making, maybe it's between 10 and 15%, the profit margins just aren't there. That means that you're gonna to have to sell a ton of inventory. 
And if you have to sell a ton of inventory, you need a ton of capital in order to purchase that inventory. So number one, make sure you have a solid strategy going into your product research. And number two, make sure the profit margins make sense. The last most important and maybe the most overlooked mistake is not focusing on getting reviews. The number one way to grow your Amazon business is to get reviews and rank organically higher in the search results. Now, there's a few ways to do this that I want to focus on too primarily. The first is have a product that solves a problem for a consumer. The more problems you solve for consumers, the happier they're going to be and the more likely that they are going to leave a review for you. Now, the second way to get reviews is to actually ask your customers for them. Now, you have to be careful in the way you do this because there are some guidelines that Amazon has in place. I'll give you two quick strategies. My first favorite strategy is leave a small note in the packaging in the product that you're selling that asks for honest feedback. Nine times out of 10, people will see this, they see that you care about your product and they're more amped to leave you a review. Now the second strategy is to actually go on the Seller Central five days after your product has been delivered and ask your customer for a review at that point. These five mistakes are the most important and reoccurring problems that I constantly see Amazon sellers facing. Now it's important to realize that these five mistakes are not the only ones you'll face during your journey. There are many more problems that you'll face along the way that you'll have to overcome. Comment down below more mistakes and I'll send you five more mistakes that I face myself, I've seen other Amazon sellers face, that will drastically increase your success rate and your sales rate. Now I wanted to finish this video off by touching on what's been the most influential variable to growing my business. And that's been surrounding myself with people in the community. Find a mentor, find friends, build a community with other people who are doing the same thing and you will see an exponential amount of growth in your intelligence, right? You're gonna learn a lot along the way from people who have already been there and done that and spent the money and lost the money, right? Find people within a community to kind of help you out, to help guide you. It can be on Facebook, Discord, there's so many different platforms. If you guys like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.